Hi, Rick Olivar is here, and this is more of my record collection. What I want to show you are my American punk and hardcore records. Um, this is most of it. There are a few others that are scattered elsewhere, but I want to show you these ones. Um, second press of Agnostic Front's Victim in Pain, the black cover. I love this one. Cause for Alarm, also by Agnostic Front. Look at that cover. Absolutely amazing. It's a great record. Solid, solid record. I love this stuff. Fell in love with this band as soon as I heard them. Agnostic Front live at CBGB. Fortunate to watch them at CBGB as well. Let's dig more here. Bad Brains. Used to have the first pressing of this one, but I lost it through time, so I had to get a reissue. First pressing of Bad Religion Suffer. Fortunate enough to get this a long time ago. I also lost my original copy of this one, The Circle Jerks Golden Shower of Hits. So I had to get the reissue too. The Cramps. Songs the Lord Taught Us. Love this stuff. Psychobilly music. Yeah. Great stuff. Cro-Mags. Absolutely one of my favorite albums. The Age of Coral. Classic. Crumb Suckers, one of those bands that uh, started this crossover between hardcore and metal. Dead Kennedys, one of their singles here, 12 inch singles. Despair, it's like the greatest hits thing. An anthology actually. The Germs, Germicide, recorded live at the Whiskey. Gorilla Biscuits, one of, one of those bands that was legendary for the New York hardcore scene. Love this album. Start today. Judge. I have a few of their records, obviously, because I'm a big fan of this band. And it's signed too. Lucky. Lucky enough to watch this band and uh, have them sign this, this record. Kraut. Night of Rage. Madball. Big Madball fan. Demonstrating my style. Misfits. I have a few of their stuff over here. I have a signed CD too. Legacy of Brutality. Evil Live. Land of the Dead, the EP, The Offspring, first pressing, they saw a lot of records of this and um, this was the time I discovered Rancid, Green Day, Bad Religion, so I was fortunate to get all this, these records when they first came out, Vandals, Peace Through Vandalism, Warzone, Rabies. Big fan of this hardcore band from New York City. Warzone. Youth of Today. Ramones. I don't have my original first pressing of this anymore. So I had to get the reissue. It's another of those records that I really don't know what happened to them. 
leave home the first pressing. Rocket to Russia. The repress. This is an original. Road to Ruin, first pressing. One of my favorites from the Ramones, End of the Century, first pressing. And I also had to get the reissue of that one. Okay, Gams. Ramones Mania. Original press. Operation Ivy. Never got the original of this one. I did get one of the first CDs that came out. I backtracked because I discovered Rancid with Out Came the Wolves, Out Came the Wolves, and I had to backtrack to get these records. That was the original, and then the repress of their debut album, Rancid. Like I said, I had to go back and look for them. 10 inch version of Let's Go from Rancid. which featured the song Salvation, the repress, the first pressing of In Out Come the Wolves. I got this at HMV in along Haiphong Road in Kowloon, Hong Kong. The day that it came out, that's when I discovered Rancid and how can you not, you know, be taken back by that cover. And I also bought the magazine from Spin, which I also have, that featured Rancid on the cover. More Rancid stuff. Life Won't Wait, one of my favorite records from the band that's more ska-oriented. The uh, picture disc of the second self-titled album of Rancid. And of course, the one with the proper cover. Going hardcore there. The split record with no effects. I first got this on CD with the orange cover, so I have the one in vinyl on green, indestructible, first pressing, let the dominoes fall, first pressing, honor is all we know, does it matter if, if it's a first pressing, no, not really, but if I can get my hands on one, I don't mind it at all, but if I don't, it's fine either. The Ska Collection, All the Moon Stompers. And their latest album, Troublemaker. Good stuff. This is like a compilation that featured their song, F.U. There. A tribute to Rancid. All these bands. It's a two-disc set. Tim Armstrong's A Poet's Life. Okay. Um, Lars Fredrickson's uh, Stuff with the Bastards. I first got this on CD, so I had to get the vinyl eventually. Viking. I lost my original first copy of this one. Los Angeles from X. I was able to find another, not in the same mint condition as the one that I had. Um, I actually lost it to a fire, so kind of uh, weird considering the X is on fire. One of my favorite punk bands ever, X, the reissue. Wild Gift. I'm a massive X fan. That was the original and this is the reissue. Under the Big Black Sun, the remastered version. I'm still trying to get back the first pressing that I lost also. More fun in the new world, the first press. Some of my records were lost in the fire, not everything. More fun in the new world, the repress. And the original press of Life Ain't Grand. Ain't Love Grand, rather, from X. So that's it for now for my punk and hardcore collection of American bands.